Nicholas Van Orden, a wealthy, selfish investment banker in San Francisco, has lunch with his estranged younger brother Conrad, who gifts him an unusual present for his 48th birthday, a voucher for a game, offered by a company called Consumer Recreation Services CRS. Though skeptical, he goes to the CRS office to apply, but the time-consuming psychological and physical examinations required irritate him, and he is later informed that his application has been rejected. Nicholas returns home one evening to find a wooden clown outside, and later discovers a hidden camera inside. He is also contacted by a CRS employee through his distorted television screen who tells him not to try and figure out the object of the game. More bizarre events continue happening. Nicholas initially thinks CRS are simply staging elaborate pranks, but then he starts to believe his business, reputation and safety are endangered. Nicholas is also haunted by his father's suicide, which he witnessed as a child. He meets a waitress, Christine, who becomes involved. Nicholas contacts the police, but they find the CRS office abandoned. Conrad visits Nicholas and apologizes, claiming CRS has attacked him. An argument breaks out between the two brothers, resulting in Conrad running away, leaving Nicholas on his own. Nicholas gets into a taxi, however, after locking the doors, the driver jumps out before the car crashes into the sea. Nicholas manages to escape the sinking car and make it to the surface. With no one else to turn to, Nicholas finds Christine's home, and discovers she is a CRS employee. When she tells him they are being watched, Nicholas attacks a nearby camera, and armed CRS personnel swarm the house. When they fire at the two of them, Nicholas and Christine flee. Christine later tells him CRS has drained his bank accounts by guessing his passwords using the psychological tests he completed, his bank confirms such. He then begins to feel dizzy and realizes Christine has drugged him. As he loses consciousness, she admits she is part of the scam and says he made a fatal mistake in giving his card security code over the phone. Nicholas wakes entombed alive in a Mexico cemetery. He sells his watch to return to San Francisco where he finds his mansion foreclosed and most of his possessions removed. He contacts the hotel where Conrad was staying, and is told his brother has been committed to a mental institution following a nervous breakdown. Nicholas retrieves a hidden gun and seeks his ex-wife for help. While apologizing to her for his neglect, he learns that Jim Feingold, the CRS employee who conducted his tests, is an actor working in television advertisements. He finds Jim and forces him to find the real CRS office and takes Christine hostage, demanding to be taken to the head of CRS. Attacked by CRS guards, Nicholas takes Christine to the roof. Christine, realizing Nicholas's gun is not a prop, frantically tells him it is only a game, his finances are intact, and his family and friends are waiting on the other side of the door. He refuses to believe her, and Nicholas shoots the first person to emerge, Conrad bearing a bottle of champagne. Devastated, Nicholas then leaps off the roof but lands on a giant air cushion. He is greeted by Conrad who is alive since the gun was indeed actually a prop, and Christine's fear of the gun faked, and the rest of the people from the game, absolutely everything had been staged by Conrad for his birthday present, with the intention of helping Nicholas become a better person and embrace life. After a birthday party with friends, Christine, whose real name is revealed to be Claire, declines Nicholas's offer for a date as she has another job lined up in Australia. She instead suggests they have coffee together at the airport, ending the final scene with Nicholas looking half-tempted, half-cautious.